times, say it two times, Gucci, Gucci, two 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 times. What's up, YouTube? It's Pink Go Out back again with another video, and today I will be showing you the how to of Second Life basically, how the F do you work it? So, the first thing that is so important and I suggest it to a lot of people who ask me how do you do second life how do you even make one make you a dedicated email for second life do not use your personal email the reason why I say that second life does notify you about a lot of things and I'm pretty sure you don't want that flooding into your um, personal email now if you're like me I do not like to disable those notifications because you know, I like the nitty gritty. I like all that good stuff. I want to know who returned what off my land. Um, what did I purchase? Because you do get receipts, virtual receipts, from if you purchase anything off the marketplace. And I do believe in store. And when you purchase London. So it's important for me to keep my receipts on my end. So, yeah, I suggest you do that. Now, the second thing is computer specs. Now my computer isn't all that. I feel like I have a mid mid range computer. Now if you have a low budget computer, Second Life can work for me, work for you. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Like it will work for you. You just have to configure your computer. You have to do some maintenance, and you have to choose a browser that best works for you. Now what I mean by configuration, I mean delete all unnecessary things that you have not used. So. All those safe pictures that you don't even care about, delete them. Shoot, if you want to be like me, do you, do you a factory image reset. That's what I do every four to five months. The reason why I do that is because I like, I'm a Tumblr person. So I save a lot of pictures, repost a lot of pictures, blah, 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 blah. I need to get rid of all those dumb files. It's the difference between a regular reset and a, and a factory image reset. A regular reset just basically scrapes the layer like it's not really getting the nitty gritty. As for a factory reset, it puts your computer in a state of when it first came off the factory. So let that be known when it first came off the factory. So it doesn't really have your updated windows or I don't really know too much about Mac. I never had one, but if anyone does have a Mac, comment below, help somebody else who so help somebody else who do, who does have a Mac. But for me, whenever I do it, I do have to download the updated Windows 10 because my computer does run Windows 10. Now, on to viewers. Now, there are a handful of viewers out there. My favorite viewer is Firestorm. The reason why I use Firestorm is because is because I can configure it to my computer settings. And for, for, for some odd reason, Firestorm does not use that much of my CPU as for other different um what is it can you think of the word other different viewers it just depends on your computer specs like i said it doesn't matter if you have a high-end low-end or mid-range computer second life in itself uses a lot of cpu it uses a lot of your graphics because it's rendering all the time it's pulling images and pixels to make it nice and pretty you know i'm not that techie so i'm trying to use technical words but um yeah so there are a handful of viewers out there. You have Alchemy, Black Dragon, of course, Firestorm. You have Kokua, Cats, Nip, Restrained Love, and Singularity. You can try all of these out and then choose which one best works for you. And of course, I would recommend you going into the preferences and then going into the graphics and then tweaking it a little bit. I never keep my graphics on ultra. The only time I put my graphics on ultra is if I'm taking a picture because in reality, I don't need to drag all of that around with me when I'm going to different sims and traveling to different sims and rendering every single thing. So I usually keep my settings on like mid to like a little bit high, but mainly medium. And I always uncheck um, advanced lighting model and ambient occlusion because I don't need it to be honest you don't need it unless you're taking you a really bomb picture and speaking of pictures I will be doing a separate video on bomb pictures in itself and all the techie stuff I'm just not gonna do it in this one 
And another get down with Second Life would be to not run multiple things in the background when you're playing Second Life. The reason why I say that, it will cause your CPU to get hot. What happens when your CPU get hot? Your computer slows down. When your computer slows down, your fan is really loud because it's trying to cool it down. Well, your drivers are trying to, you know, is doing something. So I wouldn't recommend having a lot of stuff in your background. Now, for me, I'm able to run my video record with my screen capture and maybe one browser. But even then, I don't use my screen capture like that unless I'm making a video and I don't use my browser because I literally shot from my phone and, you know, the store is still connected to your account. So it'll automatically come to your account. So that's another tip. And with that, right now, I'll link the um, website where you can see the different features of different browsers and you can select which one is best for you. All right, so this was part one. Part one consists of, you know, configuration and all of that. If you still do not understand, please feel free to leave me a comment down below or you can inbox me on Second Life at Putinese. Also, part two will be coming up next. Part two, we're going depth with bodies and meshes and mesh heads and all that good stuff.